Well, we are looking to have another storm system affect our region uh, middle of this coming week. But ahead of that system, we'll see warm, moist air and the potential for marine fog or sea fog. So exactly how does sea fog form? Well, we tend not to see sea fog very often in the summer months or spring months even uh, because it relies on cooler water. So what usually happens is during the months of, say, January, February, even early March, after several cold fronts have begun to cool the Gulf waters down, we'll start to see the potential for sea fog go up. What normally happens is we have a storm system to our west that drives warm, moist air northward. As the air moves north, it eventually cools. And as the air continues to cool, it eventually falls to its dew point temperature. The dew point is simply the temperature at which air becomes saturated, or at which air basically turns into clouds and fog. And so eventually, that shallow layer of air that was once warm will now be cooled to its saturation point resulting in fog development. Now we can also take a plan view approach to this. We see our storm system uh, across the northeastern gulf moving up toward the Big Bend. And because of the frontal systems we've had so far this winter, our shelf waters uh, in the gulf are quite cool. Ahead of that storm system, we're going to see warm, moist air move northward. And you can see that by the orange arrows there. As that air moves northward, just as in the previous uh, animation, it slowly cools down and begins to reach its saturation point. And what do you get when you saturate that warm, moist air? You get fog and low clouds, but especially fog. Now, the duration of these fog events can last for quite some time depending on how fast the storm system is moving. This coming week, we're looking at a fairly slow moving front, so we may be dealing with several days of marine fog, and we might even see some dense marine fog development, which can be hazardous to mariners and shipping interests along the Gulf Coast. Well, thank you for watching. We thought you might enjoy this brief educational explanation of marine fog.